Give me two. Let's do it. Only knows what I'm getting myself into. So can I get an update on what happened with all that fiasco of him? Nothing. He didn't buy nothing. He left. I'm here to tell you, this business will make you hard. It will make it you will like make you, 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 you because you get tired of dealing with people's crap. Okay. I just sold Harold because I'm just I over it. Pirates of all ages, we are here at the flea market. It's late, we came in just to see what can happen. Sometimes uh, people come in late. We didn't get up early, but you never know. You can't hit a home run if you don't swing the bat. We're here, so let's get picking as well. Don't forget to hit the notifications set to all if your app personalized. You will not get your notifications. It's very important that you do that and uh, hit the like button and maybe hit the share. Say something pretty, let's get going. Let's pick. That's a nice frame. Must be overpriced though because it is still here and that should have sold. A lot of people love those. Oh, my son needs a guitar. That's what we're looking for. Good thing I just remembered that. We need an acoustic guitar for my son. Stuff, stuff. Looks like, looks like everybody's... Are you packing up already? Crystal race. You go Alameda tomorrow. Mm-mm. I never even see that big crystal. If it was in the box and stuff, I'd put it on eBay, but I don't... This is just a... Alameda you go tomorrow. Yeah, I got a very minimal... Okay, look no. at that. That's only a hundred. No. Okay. You know Crystal? Uh, I used to go to school with the Crystal. This is Crystal Smith. No digging. No digging. No digging. <laughs> kind of scared. What if you went around touching knives at the flea market and then somebody used them in a bad place and then you ended up on... Uh, they ended up somewhere and somebody took the finger pins. Wouldn't that be crazy? Wouldn't that be crazy? Bob, how you doing? What are you up to? Pretty good. Yeah? You yeah, got any good silver jewelry? That's pewter. Okay. Oh, the, yeah. Oh, the, this pewter? The, this one is, yeah. Okay. This one looks the same. It just smells. doesn't smell. It smells kind of sweet, though, but yeah. that's not the style I'm looking for, though. Okay. I appreciate yeah. you showing me, though. Yeah, sometimes I have some. Uh... I always like uh, some nice, different silver if you find it. Okay. Well, have a good day. What's up, man? I see you got a new, How you doing? Uh, nice coin pen in there. No, it's the same one. $10. Same one I always wear. How you doing today? Slow. You got a different style load today? No, this one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> use the rest of it. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, we got some fun. Let's continue on. Let's continue. Some big, some big booths out here. People with a lot of, like, big things you know like a lot of stuff but i'm not seeing much just stuff and nothing i'm carrying oh all these video games they see anything we must have a lot of them okay oh my gosh look it's clothes clothes oh my god we got clothes we got clothes we got clothes I down the next aisle. What could we see? So far, this is a slim pickings, but that's what you get when you come late to a flea market. You're banking on the people who've shown up late. Wow, world. Power Rangers. What's your guys' favorite Power Rangers? You gotta be careful with those because those can get you in trouble, those bootleg DVDs. I stay away from it. I don't think I've owned, ever owned a bootleg DVD. I haven't even took one home. I'm weird. I'm one of those people. My sister always say I'm the type who would, uh, would never pull a tag off a mattress. She calls me a chicken. But that's what's kept me from being like everything I was raised to be, so. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. All right. Let's carry on. I do. I'm not doing well. I haven't made at least 100 bucks here today. <laughs> Sheesh. I'm just kidding. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. It's just all about swinging the bat and seeing whether you hit home runs or what. Oh, there's a booth here at the end we almost missed. Nope, they're boxes. Somebody bought some st stuff and pawned their trash on somebody else. That's always, that's always nice. Shout out to you. Let me get a thumbs up for that person. Ooh, what do we got here? Pachinko. There's a guitar. Let's see what we got because we are looking for a guitar from Michael. Is it in there? That's electric. No, it ain't gonna work. He doesn't want electric, he wants acoustic. So, let's keep going on. Did we come down this way? Oh. Knives and pipes, knives and pipes. 
You don't need any of those. Can't stop and chit chat too much with my friends. We got to get to Alameda tomorrow, so I got to go load my little load. And I got to get back to other things I'm working on. But we'll just, like I said, you got to come in here. Sometimes I find myself being too spoiled and I don't want to come. Like I went wake up at eight and I'm like, let's not come. And uh, I might end up too spoiled to not come out and that's a flaw because then I'm missing out on stuff because I feel too spoiled to come out and like everybody else got everything, so. <sighs> da, 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 da. Looks like we missed the card collection here. Oh no, 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 we saw this last week. My, my mind remembers that stuff. Last week we saw that entire, entire freaking thing. Beautiful rings. That's a nice cane. Ooh, this PlayStation Super Scope right there. We got, I think I saw these last week. Sadly, they're just, they're all right games, but they're, the money in them is already taken out in their pricing, so I can't really go for them. So far, we're looking like we're not going to hit no jackpots today, but if we head on to our stores, we'll make our day worthwhile by loading for tomorrow. <laughs> Ninja Turtles, Donatello. Ninja Turtles and Donatello, but we're on our way. Let's go. It's a nice pedal car. <clears throat> this could be good money sometimes. This one's newer. This is a remake. Oh. It's all dilapidated. We can't make that part of our booth tomorrow. We got a pretty refined booth for tomorrow, so I don't want to throw everything off. You're going to see soon. We're going to go right to my storage, and we're going to take a gander at what we're bringing. Looks like we're piddling down. We got to go back and get Michael's guitar, so that will be something. And it looks like we have walked this whole place so far. All right, let's see what we can get if we can get a discount for this guitar i could probably get a better deal waiting another day or two but a stressing michael out and b wasting that time is not worth the difference in what kind of deal i'm gonna get because remember this time is money bob what's the best you could do on that one i'll do 50 i will just because my son needs to uh just because he's got to do this he's got to need it for a report so you gotta do a 15 hour report on yeah, <laughs> something. I know that one is. Thank you. And just like that cheeseburger started custom, we had to cut the camera, but I was gonna buy his little picture frame, but I'm gonna have to wait. Got into a heated battle about politics and slapping people on camera and stuff. And so good thing we didn't film that. Careful guys, what you do and what you present yourself as, because at all times when you are in the public eye, you have to have your P's and Q's minded. All right, so. That's a wrap. Let's go home to my storage. Let's uh, show some cool things we're going to pack up and then we're going to move along. So, we did not make our uh, little quota. We wanted to try to find at least $100 in profit, cover my day's expenses here and stuff. Well, you know, just life expenses. But what we did get is a guitar for Michael which is priceless because he's going to graduate soon, hopefully. And upon graduating, he's also going to uh, be the first of my bloodline, I guess. My, I didn't, and Michaela, we both got GEDs, kind of, or she got a continuation school, but he'll be the first of our little bloodline to get an actual diploma, hopefully. And it'll get him something different. He's been stuck on the video games for a couple years. That's been his little world. And he wanted to do a computer rebuild for his report. And I was, like, hesitant about it, but if you guys know me, I don't tell my kids what to do. I show them, I let them make a choice, and it's up to them to succeed or fail, right? That's the way I parent. Um some don't agree for some do but upon doing that i was like I, in my head in my head in my gut i'm like i don't really want him to do a computer he spends all of his life on video games we already got him a new computer well i want him to try something different but i didn't tell him that i kind of just hinted this and told him i think the the guitar will be a better because you know it's something different and get you off of the game and do some different things he made the right choice he went with the guitar anyway let's get to our storage First order business is I gotta clear out my truck. It's got trashed, it's been sitting there for a minute and then we will get started. Managed to finally clean my truck out. I've been needing to do that for a while anyway, but we're starting to load. I got the museum piece here. 
you guys remember that piece of art but we're gonna start the low we start systematically it's things i save for this market throughout the month like here's the picasso piece we'll try to get one two hundred bucks on that cash this was a nice remote control radio control robot they're 500 bucks but the controller's missing even though it's still brand new. i'm gonna still see if i can't get a little bit of money in person for that you know versus put on ebay i'm sure i'll get money on ebay and yeah we're just piecing our load together as we go i've got a lot of things right here like look i'm gonna take out some of these things for example here is a vintage sony whole little package deal here i could put on ebay but maybe we get cash at the stuff at that alameda flea market because they're vintage pieces and there's a couple more like that like the magnavox here that's a nice neat piece we'll maybe take that out we got this right here is a couple bucks on ebay i don't know i'm gonna go through this i'm gonna look at these pieces we'll take a couple of them with us tomorrow but not a lot because it doesn't really fit the mold right it doesn't fit the mold for this flea market and we got stuff like this instead of taking out my whole vacuum collection it's the mistake i made last time right like i pieced these all together the other day got them all set up i was gonna make ebay ads but usually i taken these out to alameda once or twice i think but i got all of them right that's too much we are in a vintage atmosphere, so I think the best idea is we take this one right here. It definitely looks vintage, right? Tell me that don't look very modern. Uh, they would It would fall into the category of modern. Uh, and then if you look, the blue one, the blue one right here, this one has the same vintage 50s, 60s feel. And we'll also probably take that orange one there. And we'll let those go at the flea market. Maybe ask 50 bucks. It is what it is. And then these are some nice items my neighbor gave me the other day. Check these out. So my neighbor here at the store, she's moving out because they upped her bill. And she asked me if I wanted a bunch of stuff. And I was like, heck yeah, I want some stuff, right? Who doesn't want stuff? Look at this thing. You got this really old stool right here. This is kind of cool. S and L. You come, that's pretty nice. I think that's nice. We'll get, that's gotta be a good 20 bucks, right? There. And I'm gonna take Santa too, because Santa's pretty tight. Probably the most pathetic load I've taken out, but we got a lot of, <laughs> I use the word a lot. <laughs> we have this little tiny load. 150 a stall i'm going because it's a present right um you go to the flea market a lot and you do this you want to start making sure you come when you're in alameda um you want to make sure you come monthly and at least keep the ambiance going so 150 i'm quite sure believe it or not i will probably pull a thousand dollars minimum out of all this stuff for sale plus i'm gonna go home and fill up the back seat some more oh, man. three in the morning oh, pirates of all ages it is three in the morning and we're off to the flea market alameda it's money day leaving our home in brentwood 30 minute drive to grab uncle michael and then another 35 minute drive or so to the flea market wow we're here you can't even see it's like a circus in the morning that's what it's like right now <laughs> let's go get our tickets in line here we reserve in advance so we don't gotta wait too long. And we've made it guys, look, here's the flea market. All right, it's six, it's not even six in the morning right now. Not even six in the morning, it is 5.23. Setting up, this is uh, something my neighbor gave me. I didn't get a chance to show you guys, but the neighbor at my storage gave me this beautiful piece of furniture. She's like, hey, you want this? I'm like, yeah. Well, lo and behold, why I was so excited is quick old, first thing, Hamilton's a very fancy brand. It's usually a watchmaker, right? Well, this could be a watch parts cabinet, but let's just say uh, first customer bought it for $6.50, so. So it looks like the sun is up now. What time is it? It is 6.37. My booth is set up. Got some clothes. Uncle Michael brought his own little rack of clothes today. He's here selling with Harold, but he brought clothes. I got a very minimal booth. This is the most minimal booth I've ever brought here probably. But here's the reason why. Um, comfort causes failure. Understand that you've watched it on my channel. I've showed you not just the highs, but the lows. And comfort causes failure. All too often people uh, will tell themselves, I'm fine, I made some money last month. Uh, things are going good, the checks will come in, et cetera, et cetera. But the fact is it can all crumble so quick because once you get too comfortable, you take some time off not just because you need to, but because you're you're comfortable. That causes failure, trust me. So, for that being said, I told myself we're gonna come out here today and we're gonna make at least a, a, our minimum thousand dollars. I will always, if I have anything to sell, I will piece together a load and I will come out here and try to make a thousand dollars by with 150 entry. That's 850 profit if you more than I used to make in a week, sometimes. But this is my painting print picasso stuff from that fifty six hundred dollar art locker we got a couple pieces right here these are made by someone listed artist 
they're like little trays and then we got this painting here which is pretty neat and this bad boy here we're gonna be asking two grand I can't find a, a, a artist's name but it's very old and that's what I'm gonna ask right we also have some jewelry always bring a little bit of jewelry some stuff for the gem collection we got our silver sets out here today we're gonna see if we can get any interest in silver sets no pieces of silver we also got some antiques here and we got a piece of art Next is our opium time, bed here. Huh? We got this little opium bed. That's the best guess that we've ever been able to come up with. Is this is an opium bed. I thought it would be an art frame, but it makes like a, a two-piece, like a frame on the bottom and a frame on the top, I guess, makes an opium bed. And then we got this little pile of chalkies from laying around my store. Just time to get rid of, I guess. Vacuums. Uh, there's a picture of Nacho. We got a little bit of some vintage clothes, some Tupperware. Those are my... Those are my hopefully ten twenty dollars. So were you over there playing uh, nursemaid over there, putting your stuff together, decorating, color coordinating. This one, no, this up. one, or no, not this one. There's three of them that I don't think are real. Where's the third? What makes that not real? May I see? May I see this? Can you tell uh, me why this isn't real? Uh, well, this color, one. first of all, I don't like that black. Pack. All right. Let's it's weird because that piece looks really well made and old. This does not look new and just the the crudeness of it stuff but i guess maybe they could just pretend like they're making it 100 years ago it takes a lot of kook in this business and uh discipline and uh compassion or empathy to not get frustrated with people because like this is the part of this business i don't like i'll tell you right now that gentleman there um he's not a bad person but if you if you listen to him i don't know if baby jay's gonna put this in there but if you listen to his words he's literally going every single item is here eh. Oh, that's just the women's. Oh, they're kind of common. That's that. I'm uncertain about that. Look at the th like every single piece because they want to talk down every piece so they can more than double their money on every piece. That strategy pisses me off because once you start talking down my stuff, you don't need to do that. The price is the price. Doing that whole squabbling stuff that frustrates me. I don't know. That's just one of my pet peeves here. Um, so I bought a storage unit. The people were a very, uh, they had a lot of family stuff, right? And they, it was all their little history of their life in Oregon. Um, they were loggers. And then I got these interesting pieces of art that came out of the same storage unit. All these ones across the back here. And yeah, just very you unique stuff. Like this is a good day. Well, they were, they spent a lot of time uh, somewhere in another country because the, uh, a husband at some point of the family, I don't know if it was the, the grandfather, whoever owned the unit, but he was in World War II, stuff like that. So they lived in other countries during his stationing. Oh, I see this. Nice. Yeah. I wouldn't even know where to begin because I thought about laying it out on the ground and trying to come up with, uh, I don't know. It's just super cool, whatever you decide to do with it. <clears throat> it has kind of numbers, right? Like, you can be like, hey, this is number... Number six. Yeah, here's D, here's C4. Uh -huh. So what did we come up with here? We came up with a private deal. There's nothing to do with you. Nothing bugger up. Uh, uh, I'm trying to... I need... I'm, 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 uh, I'm observing. I'm educating myself. So where were we at? Right now. Price-wise? Yeah. For this. This flag and this. All right. The, the, the flag made it back in. It does. It's it nice. It's like battle flag they call that. Yeah. It's good stuff. Is this for your collection or are you going to resell? He's a bit of both. Yeah, I He's the like the rest of us. <laughs> he plays with it until he's bored of it and he changes it for something else, right? Yeah. <laughs> How about 250? Meet me in the middle. Well, if I knew it went together, I would. Yeah, um, I'm sure. Well, I'm sure it does, but how it goes together is the million dollar question. Oh, you think so much. Give me two. Let's do it. Only knows what I'm getting myself into. No, regardless, I think it's gonna go together because we got it all as it is now. Well, yeah, <laughs> that I done. Mean, I wish all, that meant something. If not, I'm gonna make something really nice out of it. Thank you. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I almost got my three. <laughs> um, I can't take it right this minute. All right. <laughs> if I have to watch this, it's gonna be too big. I'll probably bring it over to my truck no, just to get it out of the way. I'm parked right here in the gray truck. What is it? Uh, some cap and ball, you know, muzzle loaders. Yeah, he, he never gets tired of buying the same old stuff. Yeah. Well, if he, if, he, if he sells the same old stuff, then it's worth buying the same old stuff. Yeah, I guess. But they, they, uh, they make this, uh, they look old and they're hard to sell sometimes. Yeah. 
And even the ones that are, they still don't have like a lot of time. They don't have a lot of value. Even as as, an, as a wall hanging and stuff, they don't. They're just. I know there are some that are really valuable. It Morning. How you doing? John Quincy Adams Presidential Peace Medal, dated 1825, with a treaty signing. Yep, it's given to the Indians. John Quincy Adams is the president. Yeah. Look, that's the medal. That's is like a peace thing given to the Native Americans. Very cool indeed. This is interesting. Right all right, Harold. So can I get an update on what happened with all that fiasco of him? Nothing. He didn't buy nothing. He left. Uh, not one thing. No, not as yet. He's walking and thinking. Oh, yes. So this is exactly what I was talking about. This is, first off, the man sat there and talked down every single piece Harold showed him. Told him it was less. Harold went with his less price, knocked it in half. Then he spent 30 <laughs> minutes reevaluating every single piece and talking to himself. And then he left without buying anything. <laughs> this business it. takes a lot of patience. Harold, I need to talk to you for a minute. Yeah. Do you ever get tired of selling the same merchandise that your same customers never want to pay for and do nothing but talk down? I, I've listened to the last two customers you've dealt with and it makes me upset listening to them. <laughs> Literally hearing them every this piece you, oh no, you should take it. Oh no, that's way too much. It was a bit, but, but you know, maybe it is. Make piles of your stuff, not want to pay, and then come back and want to buy a fraction of it for even a fraction of the fraction because they don't want the... This is why I've moved to an online business because online you don't have to deal with that. The stress, that that belittlement and, <laughs> and self-control you must uh, have while enduring the belittlement, I can't tolerate no more. I'm here to tell you, this business will make you hard. It will make it you will like make you, 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 because you get tired of dealing with people's crap like that, you know? Well, you know, the worst of it is when they steal Like the guy shit. in the green jacket, he, 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 oh, those are fake. And then you sell him 50 and he wants to jump on them all of a sudden. Like, you just told me they're fake and now you want to jump on them for 50 bucks. Here we are, it's like 10 20, 10 20 now. We really haven't made a whole lot of sales. You saw me make the $200 frame sale, the $600 piece, and all together, I'm only at like 960, so really I haven't made hardly any more sales. I got an offer of 700 on my silver, but there's no way I'm taking that, right? Look, there's 1,280 grams, actually, here. 1,280 grams plus, there's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what's crazy, because even then there's, that was a bugs me about that guy's offer. I want 1,000, I don't want to take less, because that's almost scrap. Yeah. I had to turn that down. He, he wanted to give me seven. I'm not I'm not here to give you my scrap money. That's like saying, let me give you 70 cents for every dollar you have. Come on. All right, so it's kind of boring. No customers, no nothing. I'm just going to see if I can find some things to sell, to buy. And you can see everything is, uh, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Maybe I can find a couple of cool eccentric pieces we can't live without. Whoa, 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 look at all these comics. Holy smokes. No. Spray cases, no. If I could, I don't like, when the spray cases are open, I, I get the ambiance of less valuable items in them. We'll see. You guys having fun? Yeah. It's so slow. Oh, that's some nice stuff here. A lot of African pieces. Every fertility piece you never want if you don't want to get pregnant. <laughs> Yeah, it's tough sometimes, huh? Yeah. So far, so far. I don't even see cool, cool looking things to stop and see. Really. Metal pieces. Uh huh. Yeah, they're nice shape. What are they asking on them? I don't know. I'm scared to ask. I don't ask prices of anything. <laughs> I'm scared. I already know he's going to be five, six hundred bucks. He sells in LA and then drives back and forth up here. Yeah. Janae, how you doing? I'm okay, how are you? Going, doing well, making money over here? Um, you know, it comes in little waves. Yeah. How about you? It's slow today. Yeah. Very slow. Not many people out. No. And it always is the hangover crowd when the money comes though later in the day, I've noticed. I guess we'll see in a little bit. Yeah, I think so. I don't um, know. I think my band teacher comes and buys from you in Concord sometimes. Your band teacher? <laughs> His name's Lou Hamilton. Okay. Um, I'm always telling him about you because he goes there shopping. I'm like, I know you know him. 
it's funny. I don't really sell there as much anymore. Oh, you don't? Okay. I, I'm not saying I don't, but I just like, I became more of a week day seller like i do stockton during the week and then oh, okay. my better stuff goes on the internet so i kind of cut out that market because it's oh, right. i just go there and pick and make videos now oh fun i think that i think the cop has more your style right reach out and Nine touch the wood in a hurry but no how much is this watch that watch right there, 20. Oh, Warning. Man, I'll give you a dollar for it, but 40 cents is too low. I, apparently it's a dollar watch. Careful, he's got it. Never trust a clown okay, with a knife. What, what is it? Oh. Are you a clown or a luchador? No, I'm going to Slipknot. Um, coming up here in a couple days of time, just trying some outfits out, you know? Okay. But actually, it's in a couple months. Fair enough. This is the place for it. You're right. You're right. Oh, one thing you can't do is lose my uh, your this, actual this hat. This actually works. Your actual you hat know, you came with. Been saving my ass today. Yep. Yeah. Today was a day, and I'm just over the day. Yeah. There's one. one. I'll give you this. Just we deal with that, and then we do it the rest way. All right. Okay. I just sold Harold because I'm just oh, over it. Know, I gave him a good deal. I gave him a heck of a deal. He got this painting. He got this painting, he got all these paintings, and he got the doll, and the vacuums, and my clothes, and just everything I had on tables, minus my jewelry and silver cords. I gave it to him for 200 bucks, I'm over it. I'm ready to start fresh, I'm in the letting go mode. It was a loss, I naturally could have sold that for more. I probably could have took that painting that and got- That jacket too? 100, and, yeah. Could have got 100 and now a Stockton tomorrow probably for that, but it's just part of my letting go. This came from a unit that I bought with a person for a bad, uh, kind of a bad buy and he kind of left, left me hanging on so it's just like it's like I'm just pulling band-aids left and right right now so let me ask y'all opinion I need to know because this is what I'm just dealing with this I don't want to know what you guys do person bought this this morning 200 bucks for this 25 for that said hold it I'll be back usually they always come back especially this market they're not here I gotta go it's time to pack up what do you guys do you guys bring this back next time you give them their money that's the, the proper thing to do I suppose I'm just curious what everybody else does in those situations as i said i gave harold everything because i wanted to be done i got 11:30 in my pocket and it cost me 150 to sell actually i got 11:30 after my expenses i should say 11:30 after my expenses give or take i was hoping to crack a thousand i probably nailed what i wanted to sell by saying that's why it's very important to be careful how you word things in the universe but rather sit at home comfort causes failure we got to make money hustle grind rewind let's go home and unwind